Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 I have some very good news. So I've had four total rapture dreams and the first rapture dream I asked for because I seen rapture dreams pop up on just, you know, YouTube, you know, they pop up different videos you've never seen before or, or you never searched for. Okay, and I didn't need confirmation that Jesus or God or the rapture is real or will happen or whatever. I was born and raised like my other videos. I was born and raised in the church as a baby. And then I went to Sunday school first and then church after as a kid. And I heard God's voice when I was six years old before I committed suicide. I don't recall what he said. It was so long ago, so young. And my eyes was crossed. I was not born like that, but I had an accident that made it. One of my eyes crossed. It was this one. This one. Um, and I had to wait. I had to wait until I was 13 years old to get the eye surgery. Because I had a 50-50 chance of not surviving or waking up, basically. Dying, whatever you want to say. So I was tr truly blessed. i never forget the day I took the eye patch off. But anyways, um, let's get on this fourth rapture dream. So the... Second and third rapture dream, I did not ask for. The first one and the fourth one, I asked for a rapture dream. Or for the fourth one, I asked for a sign, a vision, a dream. Because I I didn't know if I should keep this between me and God, but I feel like in my heart, I should share it with you all. So last night before I went to bed or the day before, I can't recall. COVID, getting COVID kind of messed my bit my memory and brain fogs all the time like I can walk in a room and be going to do something and forget and literally have to be like what was I about to do and think for like a few minutes that's how bad it was um I also had a um 100% seizure from it um but I overcame it took a lot of home remedies gingers all different types of stuff turmeric etc um, but anyways, back on this. Um, so when I was praying, either last night or the day before, I asked God to give me a sign, a dream, a vision to let me know, I'm trying to make sure I say this correctly, to let me know if the rapture would happen this year. And I told him I understand that I'm not worthy enough, one. Two, that I understand we it's meant for us to not know the time, day, or hour. The place is obviously, obviously on earth, all over. <laughs> okay. Um, so, last night I had so many dreams that when I woke up, I didn't recall this dream. I went to the bathroom because I've been using it so much because of my overactive bladder. And then these bladder pills literally screwed up my bladder and made it worse. As if, like, I have a bladder infection. But anyways, back on this. So, after I used the bathroom and washed my hands, after waking up, I recalled so many dreams. I had a dream about my ex. I don't know the order. I had a dream about my ex was in my bed with clothes on, of course. And I don't know if it was at night or during the day. I think it was at night. And I was like, what are you doing? Get out of my, get out of my bed. Get out of my, get out of my room. Get out of my house. And I was living with my parents at this time because I called for my brother. I was like, or I'm going to call my brother. You know, obviously I'm single and I live um, by myself. So that's how I figured out, you know, um, that. And so it was nighttime actually. And he like broke the screen or something and it was left down there. And I couldn't just grab it and pick it up because... It was too far down of the house. You know, I would have to go outside and put it back up. So I just closed the door. And then I had a dream about, like, I had a lot of different dreams. And they weren't connected to each other. So I say I had three different, I can't think of the other dreams. Um, one of them was the rapture dream. Um, the other ones I can't recall right now. We just going to stick on this rapture dream. Anyways. Sorry, so long. Okay, so this was a rapture dream. I was driving. It was not nighttime. It was during the day. So I don't know what time of day. Afternoon, morning. Anyways, 
as I was driving, I seen like, like a black, like circle, but it was like an odd, weird circle. Like it was in a perfect circle and it was like black, but it seemed like, like kind of like a smoke, but it didn't disperse or evaporate. It just stayed there. And I'm like, what is that? So as I'm driving, as I'm driving, I was going to keep going. And then I was like, no, I should record that because that's something weird in the sky that's just just sitting there, you know, and not going anywhere. And it was black and it was kind of just, it was just very odd, very odd. And so as I'm driving close, and at one point I was in the road. And I was trying to record it. I was like, no, I got to get in the parking lot or I'm going to literally crash. Somebody going to crash into me or I'm going to cause an accident. And then as I'm pulling up in the parking lot, I'll never forget. I bumped a white car. I'll never forget the, the color. And I hit the little back bumper. And it wasn't hard. It was like soft. Because I was pulling up and I bumped it. And so out of nowhere... I don't know if that thing was still there, but in front of it popped up some really, really, really beautiful, bright white light saying, Jesus. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then for some reason, and it was like sparkling letters with Jesus. And then for some reason, I could not record it. My phone would not let me record it. And in life, what a coincidence, it won't let me report something important or something I've seen that I want to share with the world, okay? And so, it went away. Like, but it was like minutes later that it went away. So, I kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. It would not let me record it. I would say like five minutes, maybe six minutes. But it was a long time. And I was like, dang, it's gone. I can't record it to share with the world, you know? to save more lives, like, you know, we're, we're letting people know about our rapture dreams, and that Jesus is coming, so we can save lives, okay, so they can make the rapture, um, enemies, our friends, our family, um, etc., and so, after I was like, I don't, I didn't say it was gone in my head, I was like, oh, it's gone, I didn't say it out loud, next thing I know is some random black person in their car was like, oh, cool, thanks, Thanks for catching that as he was he, as he was finished recording it, looking up. And then next thing you know, we end up in a room in a house. And I believe it was his house because I was like, um, send it to my phone, send it to my phone, send it, please send it to my phone. My phone wouldn't let me record it. And the only reason why you seen it was because I seen it first, you know, and I guess he was parked by me somewhere because he was in his car recording it. And I kept asking, kept asking, and then like he he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't give he wouldn't send it to my phone or he he didn't say okay I'll send it to your phone and then I woke up and actually it ended it ended you know I didn't wake up like the other dreams that I had I the the dream just ended because like I said I had different dreams that night I can't even think of the other ones that I had but I literally had three to four dreams in one night and. That's very weird because I never have that many dreams that I could recall anyways because a lot of times I don't, I probably, people, you know, who say they have never dreamed, have remembered their dreams, probably do have dreams, but they don't remember it. Most of the time I only have one dream I can remember. I've never had a time where I had three to four different dreams in one night, even though I can't recall it. And yeah, so Jesus is coming back. And hopefully, and no, don't say hope, prayfully and faithfully, it's this year. If it's not this year, hopefully it's next year. Um, no, I don't know when. No one knows when. And I feel like that was a confirmation that it's going to happen this year. But I don't want to say that because if it don't happen, I don't want to be like, you know, saying something that, you know, didn't come true. But you know, I feel like we should keep our faith and hang on because a lot of people say, put your armor on, your godly armor on and stay strong. And you can be strong, but tired, 
very, very tired and weary from being attacked spiritually. And if you know from my previous videos, I'm about to end this video. I'm so sorry it's long. Um, from my previous videos, um, I've talked about, you know, dealing with bullying since last year by a coworker and just numerous other things. Um, that while I was dealing with this person bullying me, I was going through other things. You know, I've, I've um, um, survived almost being raped and killed, domestic violence. And these happen differently, but it's been during this time, you know, dealing with this stuff and, and other such stuff. I survived COVID. Um, yeah, you know, other things too. So people don't understand even the enemies and demonic evil people are like targeting people who already been through a lot of things and just want peace so that's why i'm transferring schools to be in a better environment not toxic and for my mental health basically so